Rescue efforts continued on Friday in both Syria and Turkey, following the massive earthquake earlier this week that has now claimed close to 24,000 lives in the two countries combined. It was the deadliest quake in the region in two decades, one that Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan now acknowledges authorities should have reacted to faster. Erdogan, who is currently up for re-election in a vote that may now be postponed due to the disaster, visited Turkey's Adiyaman province on Friday. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands more people have been left homeless and short of food in bleak winter conditions, as leaders in both countries face questions about their response. Omar Farouk, who runs a restaurant in central Turkey, traveled to a tent city erected near Hatay Stadium in the south. People here are happy to be getting hot meals. We will help as much as we can. That's it. Everybody's so sad. We are in sorrow. In Syria, President Bashar al-Assad made his first reported trip to affected areas since the quake, visiting a hospital in Aleppo with his wife, state media reported. The earthquake, which struck in the early hours of Monday, ranks as the seventh most deadly natural disaster this century, ahead of Japan's 2011 tremor and tsunami.